This video illustrates constant difference, which is a trick that we can use to decide from a table of values whether we have a linear function that can be described with a straight line equation. All I have to do is take a larger y-coordinate, like this 16, and subtract a smaller y-coordinate, like the 8, and see what the difference is. If I keep doing this, I keep getting the same answer. That's the constant difference. 8 is the constant difference. And this allows me to say, with some confidence, this looks like a linear relationship, and I can go ahead and try to derive the linear equation that goes with it. Sometimes you get perfect constant differences like this, especially when the question was built for you by someone creating an equation, using that equation to create a table of values. Then you get an exact constant difference of 8 in this case. But some tables of values will be derived from experimental data, and experimental data isn't necessarily perfect. It's not going to give you a perfect constant difference, but it could be close enough so that you're still able to say, I think this is a linear relationship, and then find a straight line equation that goes with it. Looking at this table of values, I'm saying 19 minus 10 equals 9, 30 minus 19 equals 11. It's not the exact same difference. 41 minus 30 equals 11. I'm getting a very similar answer in each case. And I'm able to say this is close enough so that I can assume that this is a linear relationship. And then I go ahead and I find the equation of the straight line that goes with it. Watch out for situations like this, because this table of values, the x values are going up by twos, but then I have one where it just goes up by one. So instead of this going up by 11 or 10 or 9, close to 10, it's going up by five. It actually is still part of the same straight line relationship, but you have to watch out for how your uh, x values are changing. Notice that I'm always using two consecutive points in the table when I do my subtractions. If I just choose points at random, I'm not going to be able to see the constant difference. So the constant difference trick is very useful when looking at table values when you're trying to decide what type of relationship exists between the x's and the y's in the function.